much better. Moving the groove also helps um, shifting everything. Uh, the quantize and the timing. Playing with this until I find the sweet. And I, I'm listening to this, and I, in my mind, I hear a, a, a playful percussion that I would like to add. So uh, I think I have to do it. And uh, I'm going to use this one that is here already. And I'm just going to go for percussion, see what comes up. Yeah, that's really interesting. Oh, I see. Those are stems of uh, songs of myself. And that's a uh, cool thing is um, when you search for sounds, you, you're going to be getting stuff of yours uh, from the past, past works. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna come here and trim. stuff I, think I prefer this I have to be careful if I use um, percussion like this they might be out of tune so I might have to tune them if they're too tonal then um, I'm not going to use them but I'm just going to load a few just to see what happens but this is something in my music I like uh, melodies out of percussion something really playful fine with this I don't want to overkill it see I'm falling in the thing of adding more we'll see if it's too much or not actually I'm interested to hear this playing oh, no. no that won't work okay so percussion percussion percussion
as you see right now we're just doing cleaning and fine-tuning the arrangements and there's a lot of little uh, moving things around like this as you see and uh, you know the idea is to have some stuff going not always you see this is might not be the best uh, you don't want to overcharge, but you want something to be happening. So sometimes I remove, sometimes I add, and I'm going to be uh, doing this actually here, like this. And this one. Shuffling things, shuffling ideas. Um, okay, so you see I'm cleaning doing last touch-ups and trying to find consistency in how I'm using things. Um, I want to have certain time, certain elements playing and answering each other. There's still a lot of like micro tuning, micro details um, to be done in here. And uh, that's the longest part, I would say. But once you understand your logic of, okay, this one is playing, this one's not playing, it really uh, speeds up the whole process. And for instance, this zone here might be, might be too much going on. And uh, I might uh, want to come here and have section of this playing. You know, like, y you have to keep in mind that most of the people that are going to listen to your song are going to listen to it once or twice and I, I, I'm not I don't want to sound negative but you know a lot of people can only take certain information in one listen so in two listen they will get a bunch of ideas but it's difficult to go crazy with details considering how much time people pay attention to details so it's it becomes something for yourself in a way but it's good to also let go of um, of the responsibility of trying to reach a certain level of perfection which doesn't exist so sloppiness is also a, a charming thing in music production sometimes and you have to find like how much you want to leave it undone and and some stuff to be done and because they coexist at the same time in the structure, it, there's a certain harmony that also being created. And I think it, the art of, of arrangements is to try to find that right balance of things. And, you know, at this point, I think uh, we'll wrap it up on this today, but at, at this point, you know, I will have to save this and wait few weeks and get back to it and then I'll know exactly what is left to be done um, and you know like sometimes people say yeah but you only work on one track now I work on multiple tracks I just alternate every day when I work on new ideas and uh, and then you know like it, it I always have something going on and it's it's a way of life you know you just have this track you think about it and then you work on it you've learned something that you apply to the next one it becomes really exciting and fun once you have multiple on the run and um, I can only encourage you to try to do this as well and you'll find a lot more pleasure in uh, doing the arrangements if you don't like doing arrangements especially so that'll be a wrap for today. Uh, I hope you learned a few tricks and we are going to have more videos soon.